Hopefully you've seen my first video, first video about transformations and matrices, yeah, because I'm going to go a little bit quicker now, yeah. So we have to transform this object, yeah, under the matrix, we're using the matrix, one, zero, zero, minus one. And as I told you before, you will always have to do this for a two by two matrix, never a different matrix or well, with a different order. Anyway, so um, what is the best way, in my opinion, to approach it? To write down yeah, the three coordinates, so, um, of vertex A, uh, it's going to be 2, 1. So let me write that here. A is 2, 1. Point B has a coordinate of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 5, 1. And point C, its coordinate is 2, 3, 2, 3. Okay, now I'm going to multiply each of these coordinates by the matrix they give to me, yeah? So I'm going to do that separately, yeah? Again, I told you in my previous video that some books do that in, with one big multiplication, but I don't think that's a good idea because you can make silly mistakes when you do it all at once. First you write down the matrix and then you multiply that by the coordinates, but then written yeah, as a column vector, if you like. Two, one, you see that? So if I'm if I'm transforming point A under this matrix, I say two one like this. And then, as I showed you in my previous video, a two by two matrix here, a two by one. So yes, I can multiply it, and my answer will be of order two by one. Yeah, so two by one. So it's going to look like that, and that is going to be my new coordinate of point A. Yeah? So point A apostrophe. And I'm going to do that for the three vertices. Yeah, so point B, 5, 1, and I'm going to do that also for point C. So I'm just going to copy those matrices or the matrix three times. C is 2, 3, okay? And I multiply that, and I'm going to do that relatively quickly. I show, uh, I show you in different videos how to multiply matrices, so hopefully you're able to do that. So it's going to be 2 plus 0. That's 2 and it's going to be 0 plus minus 1, it's minus 1. It's going to be 5 plus 0, it's going to be 5. And 0 plus minus 1, it's going to be minus 1. And here at the bottom it's going to be 2 plus uh, 0 and 0 plus a minus 3. Okay, and now these three matrices are your coordinates after the transformation. Yeah, So that's coordinates 2 minus 1. Yeah, let me just put a little line there. And here that's coordinate 5 minus 1 and coordinate 2 uh, minus 3. Yeah, and then you plot those coordinates. So 2 uh, minus 1, 2 minus 1 is there, and 5 minus 1, 5 minus 1 is there, and 2 minus 3, uh, 2, 1, 2, uh, 3 over there. And then I can draw my image, yeah, which is the object after the transformation. It's called the image. And it is always good to label your points. You do a more accurate job than what I'm doing now, okay? Sharp pencil and a ruler. Yeah, and that doesn't look very nice, does it? So apologies for that. You make sure you rub it out if you would do the same. Uh, again, I said label your points A apostrophe, C apostrophe, B apostrophe. And as you can see, yeah, this transformation actually is a reflection yeah, in the line y equals zero. Do you see that? And that is important for the next videos that you realize that, yeah, where we're going to look at two objects, sorry, an object and its image, and then you are going to create that matrix, okay? So I'll see you at the next video, and check my website, guys, explainingmaths.com for all sorts of free resources. Um, and like and share this video, please, uh, if it was useful. Thank you very much. I'll see you at the next video.